Today I'm going to show you how I prepare my vector files to get them accepted in Freepik. So if you already have a vector file, open it and let's do it. I'm using Adobe Illustrator to demonstrate, but I think you should be able to use any other application as long as you can export a JPEG file and an EPS file. Here is my example image that I have opened in Illustrator. It has already been accepted into Freepik, so I know that it matches all the requirements. Once you have finished your image, follow these steps to get it accepted. Number one, unlock all the layers. Here in the layers panel, you might have some layers with this lock icon. Sometimes it's useful when you're drawing to avoid moving the layer accidentally. You want to make sure that none of the layers have this lock icon. They should all be unlocked. Number two, tidy up your layers and name them correctly. Each layer should have a certain set of things. For example, this layer contains the background, this other one contains the white squares, this one is for the text, and this one has the molecules. Each layer also has the name of whatever it contains. You might be wondering, how many layers should I create? As a rule of thumb, I create a separate layer for each thing that might be handy to delete or edit individually. Always keep in mind that people who download your images might need to edit them, and Freepik wants to keep their paying customers happy by providing them with files that are easy to edit. Number three, name your files correctly. To upload to Freepik, you will need a JPEG file and an EPS file, and they both should have the exact same file name. I usually do my edits on the EPS file, which is the one that you can see on the screen, and then I go to File, Export, Export for Screens. I choose the JPEG option here, and then here in the name of the canvas, I copy paste the original name of the EPS file, which is up here in the top of the tab and I select export. That way I make sure that both my files have the exact same name. If you forget to do this, don't worry because Freepik will flag it when you're trying to upload your files. Here is my contributor dashboard and I can go to upload file and drag my files here into this box. As you can see, one of them is flagged as an error with the yellow icon and it says preview file doesn't exist. That means that there is no corresponding JPEG to my vector. So they both need to have the same name to avoid this error. I'm editing and I realized that I completely forgot to talk about file size. The EPS and JPEG files should be between 0.5 and 80 megabytes. The JPEG files should be between 2000 and 10,000 pixels on any of its sides, and they should both be RGB. And this is all nicely summarized when you go to upload files. So don't worry if you forget about any of these details, you'll be able to see it right before uploading your files. Usually what I do in Illustrator is I create a canvas that is at least 2000 pixels on one of the sides. And then for exporting, I choose the JPEG option at 150 or 300 DPI. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and have a great week.